Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding it in my hand. And we're playing Madden 20. Yeah, Se boy. Season 2, episode 1. Of the Oil Daddies. Ooh, slicked up papas. <laughs> slicked up papas. Dang Skippy, Jonas. Yeah, dude. What do you think? You think we're going to do good? I mean, we went undefeated last season, right? That was because of Brody Six Guns White. Wait, what? <laughs> because Brody Six Guns is white? What? <laughs> no, no, no. His last name is White. Brody White. That's right. Yeah, dude. He's good. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude. Uh, I don't want to get mad. <laughs> I can't. I've come to the conclusion that I hate every group text I've ever been in. Uh, you know, I haven't been in many, and I'm, I've come to the conclusion that I might feel the same way. And I love texting and talking to people. Well, isn't that 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 one app you use? Isn't that basically just a group text? Uh, I mean chat room. Or oh yeah, no, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, which one? Yeah, yeah, that is. It's basically like. It's basically, it is a big, it's a group test, but it's a chat room, yeah. So, group texts are just like curated chat rooms. Uh, essentially, but the, but the, those programs are curated too, because people are moderators, and if people come in, they can boot them out, and like, that kind of stuff too. I mean, but you curate a group text yourself. Kinda. Yeah, but you know what I think it is, man? Like, that, that group chat that I'm in, it's a separate program. I turn all the notifications for that program off, so I go check it when I want to, and then see what people have put. When it's in your GD text messages, it's like, bing, ba 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 bing. I just put uh, turn off notifications to this group text. Yeah, and that's what I did too. And then it, I come back and I have 20 <laughs> It's text messages, and I'm like, are any of these important? No. Oh, do you turn them off for all of your texts? No. you. Can, I can take a group text and just, like, long press on it, and you can turn off the Oh, yeah, you can go to each individual text thread and, and change the notification, whether it comes on the screen or doesn't come on the screen. I mean, yeah, you have an so, older Android than I do, but yeah. same difference. We're basically doing the same thing. That other group text I'm in, sometimes I'll, I'll go, I won't go in there for a while. I'll go in and there'll be like 130 messages. That's too much. Well, just because people are talking. And uh, they're having conversations. Yeah. Jonu dropped it, dude! That's too much for me. <laughs> nah, but a lot of times it's actually like interesting things. Uh, but like, I don't, need, I don't need to be notified every second. Is it though? Yeah! I'm, I'm a firm believer of nothing important has ever been said through text. Unless Ooh. it's like, unless it's like, no, nah, dude, millennials you. are making breakups happen through text now, and that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. I know, right? Like that, you can't even like call them on the phone. I mean, I think okay, I think breaking up should be done in person. Have you ever broke up with anybody through text? No. Have you ever been broken up with through text? Mm, yeah. Well, no. Let me think. Hold on. I 100% have. Have? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, have had a girl that I was seeing, not like officially dating, through a text be like, I don't think we should see each other anymore. So, but so not, you were seeing but that's But we weren't like a boyfriend-girlfriend situation. Yeah, it was something. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was uh, whatever I, it was. I, I that, but, but they were a millennial. Yeah, naturally. So. That's, that, I think that counts, man. Yeah, I would say so. I absolutely hate the levels of relationship of seeing a person. What what level is going steady? Is that like boyfriend girlfriend? I don't know. Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, I would say that that's like boyfriend girlfriend. That, I mean, that is officially what it is, I think, right? right? I don't know what going steady is. I would assume it's like that's your girlfriend or your boyfriend. I assume that nobody uses the terminology going steady. It's not 1952 anymore, anymore but yeah, I mean, maybe. Dude, I, next time I like want to. Oh, God, I'm not even going to finish the sentence because it's making me sick. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what, next okay. time you want to have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> the next time I want to have a girlfriend, I'm going to ask if they want to go steady. And then they'll say no, and then it'll solve the problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ew, you weirdo. Yeah. You sound like my dad. Yeah. Ew. Did my dad just ask me to date him? <laughs> Probably. Dude, what is up with these... That's like the third time that's happened. Okay, so what are the other things you have questions about? Going steady, I think, is like... <laughs> Going like, steady's lame. It's like a boyfriend-girlfriend situation, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't really like the... Uh, 
the idea of relationships. Well, what are the different levels of relationships? Well, people? there's there's like courting. Courting, that's just like when you're like, hey, I like the way you look. Let me buy you some coffee. Oh Let my me God, that's the worst part. Hey, I think you're really funny. Oh, that's the part where they pretend to be somebody else for like three months, and then and like you, you find yeah, who they really are? That's when you do it, too. No, I don't do that. <laughs> that's, that's why I don't have girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm, I think we all do it a little bit. A little, but dude, like, I am like 98% myself all the time because I don't have time to pretend. I can't, dude, I can't remember who I am anyways. Yeah, women are way better about being fake. <laughs> they are, 100%, man. Oh, yeah, because, like, they see a girl they hate and they come up, she's like, oh, my God, your new haircut is so effing cute. And they walk away and they're like, you're yeah. a panda bear bee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they have way better acting skills. I think women are the best actors in the world. Yeah. And yeah, and dudes are just, I mean, most of the time a guy is kind of, see, okay. I think most of the time a guy is who he is, but unless he has, like, bad intentions and then he's trying to, like, portray him as, like, a caring, like, enjoyable, and where he's really just a D-bag. <laughs> so he's a sociopath. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. See, I don't like the double standards there, 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 there but Jonas. But I don't do that, dude. Who I because am Because women, who I show them. why is it that women aren't sociopaths when they do it? You're the one that called them a sociopath. I think everyone's messed up to not be themselves. So everybody's a sociopath, but you? Everyone who pretends to be someone they're not. Ooh. For an extended period of time or amongst different groups of people. No. I don't know if that makes them a sociopath, but it... Why? No. Why? It's so much work to not be yourself. No. It, it's not work to be, not be yourself? Well, there's certain things that you can do and say around certain different groups that you can't say in, in another group. Talking about racism? No, I'm joking. I'm though joking. that is a part of yeah, it. Yeah, it is. No, okay, and I get it because, like, because like it's funny because the way that I interact with you, I've known you a long time, so I'm like extra like out of control, and then and you're like, I can't wait to see you interact with people because you're all up in the house doing. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I'm not like that. And then you see me around other people and you're like, oh, you're like a normal person. You don't act all crazy. And I'm like, it's because there's a level of comfort with you. I've known you since we were like children. Well, that's, that's, that's just touching Jonas. But, but I mean, that's, but there's different levels of comfort with people. Like, okay then, but even still. So we can't necessarily correlate them acting differently around people because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have the same conversation that I would if I'm in a room full of females versus a room full of dudes if I'm in a room full of Asian guys versus a room full of white guys that's, versus a that's room true. full of black or if guys. like or for example uh, you're you're having a conversation at work or you're having a conversation at a poker table with your boys there are gonna be pretty different conversations yeah 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 that fits that fits too yeah like, so yeah I'm, i don't know I, I definitely think people can act differently and not be a sociopath but to portray yourself oh my as, god that's like the eighth pass that has been dropped so far this game i mean but you were, were winning barely anyways <laughs> so i don't know if there's a correlation between that but to try to portray yourself as that person like almost like not imposter syndrome that's something different yeah what is it when you, uh, Dr. Love, he pretended to be a doctor. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the, the imposter, Quantum Leap. Not a Quantum Leap boy? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what Quantum Leap is. Quantum Leap was a show where a guy would travel to different time periods, and he would become a different person, and he had to fulfill some, like, destiny trait with that human being yeah like yeah like he would, would become like a little girl who in some had to like save her mother from the burning building yeah by the or he became or like rosa parks and he had to go sit on the bus or something right right <laughs> it was it was actually a it wasn't a bad show at all it sounds terrible doesn't it yeah he had like a little invisible hologram friend named al who had like a a MacGuffin device that could just be like, "Oh, you got ten minutes to you till you leap again, and if you don't, <laughs> if you don't take a seat on the bus and eat with Martin Luther King, you never get to go home." <laughs> and he's just a const hes like a constant man trying to look for home. Yeah, and home never comes. He was just like he wants to leap back into his original body. Dude, I cannot throw a freaking pass to anyone. They're getting swatted. They're getting dropped. They're getting intercepted. Holy f. Anyways. <laughs> It's just frustrating as hell, dude. Yeah, it happens. Um, it does happen. 
But yeah, dude, no, here's the deal, though. Don't right. pretend to like things you don't like. Don't pretend, because, like, here's what's going to happen. Your your new boyfriend, new girlfriend, oh, is going to fall in love with you because they think you like the same things as them. And then you're going to be like, oh, I don't like that. And they're going to be like, you are not fun anymore. <laughs> This is where Jonah starts speaking from personal. No, experience. dude, but like, no, I'm just telling. Like, that's is. what people do, and then it's like you're wasting everyone's time. It, it's not just girlfriends; it's people you meet. Don't try to act cool just to impress your friends. If you don't like football, you don't have to. All right. right there's a difference between being open to like watching football and pretending that you're into football. Yes. Like, if you meet yes. some people and they like going to watch football, and you'll you're open to go and watch and hang out great but don't be out there like oh i love pig skin and then like try to like rochambeau your way through a conversation <laughs> look like an a-hole <laughs> why are you mad at this hypothetical person because <laughs> they're an a-hole <laughs> why are you so angry i'm with just them? like dude i can't handle fake people man. <laughs> Like, it's just, I can't do it. I don't know. I feel like everybody's a certain degree of fake anyway. We don't show the people that well, realness okay. inside right. of us. I agree. I think that yes. there's, but there's a difference between fake and fake as there's a difference between lying and a white lie. What does, wait, hold on. What's a white lie, Jonas? A white lie is like a lie that it's like if you ask a girl for her phone number and she doesn't want to hurt your feelings, she tells you she has a boyfriend rather than just telling you no. Because it's less confrontational. It makes you feel less bad because when someone says, I have a boyfriend, you're like, oh, they, they aren't accepting of new numbers. If they just straight up say no, it's like a full rejection like they're not interested okay. in you. Okay. That's a white lie. So a, okay, so a white lie is used to not hurt another person. Not necessarily. Whereas just, a lie is used to not embarrass yourself? No, that's just a situational thing. That'd be like or that'd be like um that'd be like <laughs> you, you culture. went so okay, say say you're talking to your mom, right? Yes. And in this weekend you went out to a strip club with your friends. Right? And you're talking to your mom. Yes. And and your mom's like, what'd you do this weekend? I and went to library, Bible study. Well, right. Well, you could just say, I went out to the bar with some friends. You're not lying, but you are lying. That's omission. That's different. Yeah, but those all sort of things are white lies. Whereas being fake, there's a level of fake at your job. Show us how many white lies you've been telling, I don't fam. tell white lies. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. You know the definition, the part of speech. <laughs> you know all the ways to incorporate it, you've got it down to the meta of white linemanship that you don't tell it's white lies. race, by the way. It's not a <laughs> Caucasian lie. It's a white lie. <laughs> no, but dude, like you, you're just be, you're just playing devil's advocate. Like your ass has never heard that before. I mean, uh, right. It's good to talk about though. Right, but then it's the same level of being fake. Like at work. You're a little more reserved because, like, if you like to drop F-bombs all the time and you're at work dropping F-bombs, they're going to be like, hey, Jonas, go the F home. You know, or you you know, or you know, don't want people at work to know certain things about you just because it's a professional environment. That's a fakeness that everyone has to do. Okay, that, that I do. But then being fake to, like, you meet a girl and you're pretending, like, that you like opera because you want to get in her pants, that's, that's being completely fake. I mean, I, I do like pants. <laughs> <laughs> I do I'm not see being hundred percent like in her pants. Exactly, I'm not being fake because I really like those pants, and I'm just willing to go through opera to get into them. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, or it's example of like you're somebody like a prime example <laughs> is one partner or the other pretends to be way more into sex than they are. So then, at the Whoa. beginning of a relationship, there's, you're into having sex, and then as it progresses, the person's like, oh, I'm not that into sex. And then it causes I'm issue. I'm not that into sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that. Oh, my God. They, they, dude, we're going to lose she, this game. <laughs> they hit you with another lie there. Yeah, I know, There's right? There's no such thing as not into sex. There are people who are not that into sex. Nah, they just ain't had the right sex yet. You send them to my bedroom. <laughs> Whoa! A little ooga. 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 One of those. Mm -hmm. We're going to win this on a last second field goal, B. <laughs>
Yeah, so uh, kids, moral of the story is uh, don't, don't, be fake. don't be fake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Find people who like you and respect you for who you are. Yep. Exactly. If people don't like you for who you are, Ooh. they ain't worth being in your life. Jonas, I got a perfect quote for this. What's that? All right. Be yourself because those who matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter. Boom. Can you text me that so I have that? It's Dr. Seuss. Oh. <laughs> it is, but it's a freaking bar. It's a bar, dude. It's a Boom. bar, dude. 13 seconds. They can take that to the effing bank. Watch them score. I, they probably will. Nah, they ain't got enough time. Whew, Boom. Almost. Dang, man. Yeah. Those who matter don't mind, and those who mind don't matter. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Moral of the story today, friends. We already said what the moral of the story was. <laughs> Don't be fake. Don't be fake. Quit. And people who need you to be somebody else. Yep. They ain't worth your time anyway. Woo. Woo. Bars. Unless you're a jerk, then you should probably like stop being a jerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're the only one not having fun, you're the jerk. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done those two things. Tell a friend. Uh, Watch more videos. Uh, do something else. Yeah. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. Uh, oh, it's a.